working in the coal mines. He was feeling bored and lonely, with only the silly freight cars for company. Cheer up, Percy, said his driver. Sir Topham Hatt has told me that we must be here again tomorrow. We've just got to make the best of a bad situation. I'll try, sir, sighed Percy. Next morning, the freight car started teasing Percy. Percy, Percy, green and small, he's no use to us at all. Around the yards he'll buff and blow, but on the hills he's oh so slow. Be quiet. Then he took the freight cars to the coal hopper to be loaded up. Percy still felt glum as he puffed up to the top of the hill. He parked his freight cars and then set off back down to the mines. Not even the cheerful sight of Bertie the bus could bring a smile to Percy's face. What's the matter, Percy? asked Bertie. Nothing exciting ever happens. That's the matter, sighed Percy. It's just coal, 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 and cars, cars, cars. I'm bored, bored, bored. Excitement is surprising, observed Bertie. You never know when it'll happen. Otherwise, it wouldn't be exciting. Toodle peep. It would be surprising if something surprising happened, muttered Percy. Later, he stopped by the water tower for a drink. Hello, Percy. How are things? asked Toby. Boring. Well, why not have a few fast spins on the turntable? You'll like that, said Toby. I think it'd just make me giddy. Percy's driver interrupted. Stop gossiping, you two. Cheer up, Percy. You'll soon know more about cars than any other engine. That'll be exciting, called Toby. The freight cars were still grumbling, and there was more of them than ever. You're much too small to pull all of us. We want another engine, or we'll be struggling up the hill all night. All night, all right. You can puff and blow, but on the hill, you're still too slow. <laughs> Just to slow yourself, stuttered Percy. Temper, temper, giggled the cars. <laughs> Percy decided to simply carry on. Go to it, Percy, shouted the driver. The freight cars were still joking. Too slow, poor power, here all night, tomorrow too. Be quiet, said Percy angrily. Then there was trouble. A coupling broke. Surprise, surprise! Catch us if you can! Oh, no! cried Percy. <laughs> Percy's driver told the signalman, and the yard foreman told Sir Topham Hatt what was happening. They're heading for the big hill. It'll slow them down, but they may roll back again. Right into the village. Then we'll just have to stop them, won't we? The chase was on. slowed the freight cars right down to a standstill. Then the men quickly put wooden blocks behind their wheels so they couldn't roll backwards. The freight cars were now secure. Just then, Percy arrived. Well, what did you think of that, joked Bertie. A good chase is always exciting. It was certainly a surprise, decided Percy. And you were right, Bertie. A really useful engine should never be surprised by surprise. <laughs> 